welcome everyone. Today's course is cargo planning. First, let me introduce cargo planning. Cargo is towed in vessels for transport from port to port. This requires planning to ensure safety and efficiency. The main underlying objectives of a goods storage is safety. This includes the safety of people, the ship, and the cargo. The loading, transportation, and unloading of each cargo must be performed in such a way that the workers are not armed, the cargoes are not damaged, and the ships remain stable and seaworthy. Now, oh, let's get into container vessel planning, otherwise known as stowing. Okay. The two most commonly used container sizes today are the 20 foot and 40 foot lengths. Containers are measured in 20 foot equivalent units, TEUs. Here are the types of containers that we stow dry van, reefer containers, open top, flat rack, high cube, and 20 foot containers. Read the instructions carefully. Always label the bays, rows, and tiers. Monitor the stock weight. Remember all your containers and label your containers. Labeling the bays. Say for example, you were given the numbers 23, 22, and 21. The forward is represented by the even number which is 22. The aft is represented by the higher odd number which is the 23 and the 21 represents the 20 foot containers stored on the forward. Labeling the rows. First you have to find the amidship from the center leftward. Label with even numbers starting from 02, then you continue with 04, 06, 08 onwards. From the center rightward, label with odd numbers 01, 03, 05 onwards. Just in case there is an odd number of rows, the middle row is numbered 00. Labeling the tears. The container tiers are numbered with even numbers starting from the bottom. Below deck, start with 02, then count up with 04, 06, etc. Above deck, start with 80 or 82, but preferably 82, then count up with 84, 86, 88, etc. Here is an example of labeling the base rows and tiers. I have taken the time out to do one with even numbers of rows and one with odd numbers of rows. So please take the time out to observe both illustrations. Containers are represented on both the forward and the aft. The forward and the aft holds a 40 foot container. That means if you stow a 20 foot on the forward, you must stow another 20 foot in the same slot on the aft. And if you stow a 40 foot on the forward, please make sure that you put an X in the same slot on the aft to show that that space has been filled. 20 foot containers cannot be stored upon a 40 foot container. Please consider the hatch cover when stowing below deck. There are no hatch covers above deck so you don't have to restrict the storage of high cube containers. When stowing for multiple ports, use the first in last out approach. Flat racks must not have any containers represented beside them or above them. When stowing with weight, stay within the stock weight. Ensure that there is a balance between the port side and the starboard side. 
when stowing with weight the port side and the starboard side cannot be unbalanced by more than five tons when stowing an open top container you cannot stow a container on top of it a refrigerated container must be stowed above deck in the first or second tier because it has to be close to the reefer plugs what is the difference between the high cube and dry van containers dry van has a standard height of 8.6 which means that's the regular height for a container and the high cube container has a height of 9.6 which is higher than normal so it must be treated differently when stowing treat all your containers like they are 40 foot containers Unless the question says that it's a 20 foot, everything is 40 foot, okay? Here is an example, a visual representation of everything that I've just said. I have labeled my bays, rows, and tiers. I have identified my forward and my half. As you can see, wherever I store a 20 foot container, there is another 20 foot container on the aft in the same slot let's move on to our 40 foot containers now as you can see wherever i have stored a 40 foot container on the forward there is an x to represent that the slot has been filled on the aft you have to do that when stowing below deck please consider the arch cover you have to store the containers perfectly below deck so that the arch cover can close properly so you can continue stowing above deck the drive on containers has a height of 8.6 which is the regular height of a container so it can perfectly fit within each slot so you can store the drive on containers straight up to the top now let's talk about the ac containers please take into consideration that the IQ containers are higher than the regular containers. So once you store an AC within a row, you, you need to know that you cannot store it all the way up because the arch cover won't be able to close. Right? So whenever you store an AC container within a row, just put two strokes in the, in the last slot right just to remind yourself that you cannot put a container right there because the arch cover won't be able to close now let's move on to above deck right as you can see wherever i've stored a 20 foot container there's another 20 foot container on the aft within the same slot the drive on containers are stored yes it's a regular height and everything it can be stored wherever and the AT containers can be stored all the way up because there is no restriction there is no arch cover above deck so it can be stored all the way up reefer containers must be stored above deck but it should not be stored beyond the second tier which means if you're storing a reefer container it must be in tiers 82 and 84 any slot within the 82 and 84 you can put your reefer containers lastly the flat rack the flat rack has no sides or no top and that is why we have to, let me call them space holders to show that um, you cannot put any containers beside it or above it I don't know why sometimes persons have this bright idea that even though you have put the space holders around the flat rack that they could put a container in the slot above that the container cannot float on air so what I want you to do is to put two slashes so that you can remind yourself that you cannot put any more containers right there and again let me repeat a 20 foot container cannot be stored on a 40 foot container 
and whatever is stored on the forward must be represented on the aft if it is a 20 foot container make sure that the same in the same slot on the forward you put a 20 foot container in the same slot on the aft 